this beautiful image is uh, provided by Bikas Behra. Really beautiful image. I love it. Especially this bird is one of my favorite bird. Frankly speaking, there is nothing much to do with this uh, image actually. What I can see is uh, perhaps we can benefit from uh, shadows and uh, highlights. But let's do some adjustment in camera row first. Uh, this image obviously in camera row right now. So what I will do is I will increase these shadows which will brighten up the dark area and then reduce the highlight which will get rid of the unnecessary brightness and then maybe a little bit of clarity I don't want too much of a clarity from here um, and I think that is it from here really I don't think I'll okay I may reduce a little bit of uh, blacks and uh, that's it from here I think so now what I will do is I'll hold shift and click open object there you go let's increase the size so that we can see proper I'll make a copy of this uh, image by right clicking on it and then new smart object via copy and then double click the bottom layer what I want to do actually is I want to uh, reduce some of the noise so let's do that go into details and then luminance I'll click up to 100 percent there we go I think we have got rid of almost all noise and then click OK so now we have got the bottom layer with uh, noise removed if we close this eye of the top layer we can see the difference this is the bottom layer now and this is the top layer now I wouldn't mind actually keeping a little bit of uh, noise on bird itself but I will remove from the back uh, from the background so what I will do is I will create a mask on my top layer and then select the black brush with 100% opacity reduce the size and then brush over the background which will get rid of all the noise from the background now to see what we are brushing off we can click the forward slash so that we know exactly what we are brushing off as I mentioned before that I don't want to get rid of all the noise from the bird itself so what I will do now is I'll reduce the opacity of my brush to approximately 50% and then brush it over the bird as well that will get rid of some of the noise and it will keep some so that we can maintain this sharpness a little there we go I think it's almost done now uh, so what I'll do is I'll click once more the flash uh, sorry the forward uh, slash to get rid of this uh, red selection and uh, now if we see the hundred percent we can see the difference there's quite a bit of difference now now what I will do is I will create a snap a composite snap by holding shift alt command and E on keyboard that will give us a new layer at the top let's give it a name of composite snap which is CS shortcut
Now I would like to give a little kind of punch uh, or maybe you can say a, a little contrast uh, by providing uh, USM so let's go to filter sharpen and then unsharp mask full radius with uh, 3 threshold and 28 is the amount and then click OK but by doing this uh, you must have noticed that the, the black part has gone more black so what we will do is we will provide this effect selectively meaning we don't want this on bird as much as on the other part of this image so hold alt and create um, let me bring it here hold alt and click mask that will hide the effect we just created and then select white brush now because we want to reveal and then um, with 100% opacity brush it over on the area where we want this effect as we can see the rest of the part is getting darker a little punchy there we go now on the bird actually I want a little bit not that much so what I'll do again is like we did before I will reduce the opacity to about 60% and then well not 60 sorry at 30 percent will do and then brush it on the bird that's it that will do now if we look at it carefully the birds the black part has gone a little more black so what i will do is i'll again uh, create the composite snap like we did before shift alt command plus e and then i will make this layer as a smart object and then go to image adjustment and shadows highlight that will um, help us bringing the darker part of the bird uh, lightening a little okay so let's do that settings Make sure you keep on checking preview so that you know exactly what you are doing. There we go. Of course you can do this according to your liking. I am just pleasing myself. Um, this will do for the moment. And I will click OK. The reason I created this smart object before I carried on is because I want to con if I want to control my effect then I can do it by using brush on this smart filter. But it seems okay to me anyway. So I will leave it as it is. Okay, now what I would like to do is I would like to apply uh, dodging and burning a little. So hold alt and then click on this uh, new layer and then from normal to overlay blending mode and fill with 50% gray and you can name it doge and burn and then click OK now obviously you will have to select the the tool which is this one click on this tool and then just brush over the white part of this eye because I want that little brighter keep on brushing keep on brushing keep on brushing make sure you got approximately 16% exposure at the top here 
and shadows selected now let's do on the big as well what basically I'm doing is I'm making the the bright parts brighten and if I press hold while I'm doing this I'll be making darker parts dark more darker I mean okay so that's that now I'm pressing old and I will do on the darker part there you go that will make uh, more depth if you wish the this part particular the head part of the bird will have more depth we can see before and after in a moment just let me finish this oops <clears throat> You have to be careful when you do this because if you do it any other part then obviously it will affect the other parts so you have to be careful what you are doing that's it for the moment i think that will do um, i can go a little further but okay let me reduce the size of the brush and then do this There you go. Now to see before and after I will close this layer and you will be able to see it. this is before, this is after, before, after. So yes it does make really big difference uh, at the end. But this is all time consuming of course if you want proper result you have to spend time and you will have really good result at the end. There we go. You can do plenty little things here, you know. By bringing all these details out. At the end, if you think this is a bit too much, what you can do is you can reduce the opacity or select the eraser. And then with less opacity, you can erase. So that you can have... So this is a bit too much now. So what I'll do is I'll select the eraser with I would say phew, about 70-80% and then erase what I did. It will leave about 20% which I think is okay. It will look natural and it will look really good. There we go. You can do, you know, on these lines, these lines uh, we can see, all these lines, the, the edge of the feather. Of course, you need steady hand. You have to be a little artistic to, to do all these things. And not to forget the passion. <laughs> or, <laughs> or else you will not be doing all this. There we go. I think I'm almost done on this part as well now. <clears throat> now I can reduce again by erasing. I would say in this case I would erase only about 20%, 15 to 20% and leave the rest. So just erase 20% from this, maybe a little more, I'm not too sure, I'll see in a moment, as soon as I go on full size, I mean on the 25%, here we go.
Now, to see before and after, I'll click this eye so that we can see what we've done. This is before and that's after. Before, after. If you want to reduce the work you've done, just go over again once more, which will reduce 40% now. And I think that is okay. So there we go. I don't think I, hold on, what I'll do is I'll create the snapshot again. There we go. I think I'll stop here. Um, let's see completely before and after on this one. Okay, here is our before. Let me make the same size of 10 too, so that we know. There we go. That's our before and this is our after. As we can see, especially on the head part of the bird, which is quite detailed and well lit up now than before. And um, it has got uh, well control, I would say the shadows and highlight well i hope this helps anyway thank you for watching and bye for now of course you can visit my website where you will see many more tutorials which is p p for papa p photography photography has got i at the end dot com as well as you can subscribe my youtube channel Thank you and bye for now.